Turn to class. For um, for stock cars, no, not at all. This uh, this place has has a, a little bit more banking. Um, the back stretch is a little shaped a little bit different. Um, so it, it's really weird when you when we come here and race. Like for me, you get in the garage and you almost get like like mind boggled or confused because they this, everything looks so much alike in your environment. But honestly, when you're on the track, they're they're completely different. So um, even though they may they may look the same from the sky, they they drive completely different. I think. For the Indy car, that's, that's actually similar. Uh, both the tracks, I think, in qualifying are uh, uh, flat out easy for us, but, but Chicago uh, definitely with the banking has a little more grip for us, so it's, uh, it's uh, more of a pack race as opposed to Kansas where we string out a little bit more. Okay. Uh, yes, sir, the hat. Uh, you know, I love IndyCar. Um, I've always been a single-seater racer, so you know, I haven't driven the uh, the NASCAR or tin tops or, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you know, it, it's it's something maybe down the road. You know, I'm still 29. Um, I guess you know the easy answer is I love IndyCar racing. I, you know, I think it's fantastic racing. It's very difficult, um, and I and I like you know the, the different tracks that we go to. You know, we do short ovals, big speedways, road courses, street courses. Uh, and I think you get a true champion in our series with, with that kind of uh, you know deal going on. But you know, Chip's very kind to me and has allowed me to do sports car racing outside of the IndyCar schedule. But uh, I still haven't got a ride in a, in a cup car, so maybe uh, he knows whatever he's ready, he can he's got one he can try. I don't... <laughs> well, this is actually the longest running relationship in IndyCar racing right now with driver team owner pairing with you and Scott about ten years, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About ten years. Yeah. And you were actually trying to broker a deal for him. Just a few minutes ago, back in the media center, trying to hook him up with Kyle Busch's truck Again, deal. Kyle Busch is uh, looking for drivers in his truck. And we we're going to put Dixon in his truck, so we're we're negotiating right now. You can ask him when he comes out next. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we would try to uh, stir yes, the pot on anything. Help me out here, because he, he he's looking for a little more sponsorship than we currently have. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, yes, ma'am. With Danny Stillman. I'm sorry? With Danny Stillman as a crew chief? Danny Stillman as a crew chief. You know, I don't know who the crew chief is on that truck. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> Your cousin. Okay, we'll get her. Good guy. Good guy. Good guy. Yeah, good question. The question about Montoya struggled a little bit in the beginning, getting his act together now. Is this a, a sign of what's to come? I hope so. I mean, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, I mean, all I do is try to give the guys good cars every week and, you know, hope for the best. I mean, some of those, you know, so much of this is out of your control as an owner, even a driver. A lot of it's out of your control, you know. You saw Almondinger take out Jimmy Johnson over the weekend, you know, I mean. Jimmy to get between Almondinger and the wall there. Now. That's what really happened. That's what happened. That's a good thing. Jimmy's a nice guy. So he saw he saw Almondinger about to hit the wall. And thought he better get in front of the break wall. Help a brother out. Yeah, just help a brother out. Hey, uh, Jamie, he pays you pretty good, doesn't he, Chip? Yeah. So, so my question is, what am I going to say? No. <laughs> Flying him back to Charlotte today, right, too. Yeah, he brought me here. So I didn't say, right. you, you know you have to pay for Zeno last year, right? Well. Okay. So, how come you stole all those coupons from McDonald's in your pocket over there today? Well, I was... Show them what's in your pocket. Show them what you took. Look at this. I didn't take it, but he gave them to me. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna That's eat my button for my suit. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to eat for a month for free in the Look at this. Right, I got, uh, I got the Angus burger, I've got three coffees, and I've got Big Macs. <laughs> I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we were up at the McDonald's headquarters today, Jamie and I. We got our eyes opened up. I'll tell you, they're, right. you need to take a closer look at McDonald's, I'm telling you. But, you know, we all, we, everybody, I look, everybody I know out there, they all know where the nearest McDonald's is to their house. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not blowing smoke here, I'm telling you. They, 
it's, it's not the same McDonald's we grew up with. It, I mean, you really got to take a closer look at what they're doing there with their food. It's really something. I mean, the ingredients that go in, the, the quality, it's, 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 it's impressive when you, when you look at it. I, I'm, a, I'm a changed guy in the last few months, I can tell you. Well, it's McDonald's on Jamie. Everybody, we're going. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who's got another question? Yes, ma'am, in the green. Oh. <laughs> wow, the cars had to stop right at that point, didn't they? <laughs> question was, she was wondering if you have any advice for Jamie on how to race Danica. Not my question, hers. <laughs> I'll say one thing, just don't crash her out of the race. <laughs> She'll be marching down the lane to come see you. Uh, Next question. Yeah, any <laughs> Alright, where are we? Anybody else? Yes, right here. You want a coupon? A ticket? <laughs> I'll sign one for you. Yes, sir. Do you have a question? <laughs> yes, sir. How do you get into the garages for NASCAR to see the drivers? Like when you go to Milwaukee, you can go up to the. Yeah, you, you can't really. They don't really make that available to all the race fans. You just come into the garage area. You basically have to be a member of the team or a part of a sponsor program. They're sorry, to the question. He's asking about how you can go about getting into the garage area at a NASCAR race. And there's a pretty strict call, guideline. Call Kyle Bush. Let me give you a second. Kyle Bush, he gets all his friends in the garage area. 704. <laughs> Yeah. This one's for Scott. Uh, this year you're not uh, racing Milwaukee. Milwaukee dropped the Indy Series. Do you find it, do you get disappointed when uh, track has dropped uh, out of the series? Yeah, and more so with, uh, the question was, uh, are we disappointed that we lost Milwaukee race for, for the IndyCar Series? And, and uh, for us more so, we, we won there last year, so we want to go back. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But it's, you know, that is, is a fantastic circuit. I think they were celebrating their 100th year uh, there last year as well. So there's a lot of tradition. Uh, and it's a really tough track. You know, for me, it's uh, I've had great days. I think I have a couple of records there, actually. I, I uh, destroyed two cars in four laps. <laughs> <laughs> I think Chip remembers that one. I remember that. I remember that was really good. But no, we, yeah, we definitely miss it. It's a, it's a fantastic circuit. And on the IndyCar Series side, we're, we're losing a lot of the short tracks, which uh, I, I definitely love the short tracks. It's, it's fantastic racing. Yeah, all right, got time for one more question. Have you ever thought about F1 since you, you compete so many different forms of racing? You know, I, I yeah, I thought about it a little bit, but I, I, they haven't. I, I like living in the United States. And the question is, have I ever, ever thought about doing Formula One? And the answer is, I couldn't. I, I got. I like living where I live, and I don't want to, to do that series right. You have to live overseas and be there. And they haven't made a plane big enough or fast enough for me to do that yet. So I, I like being right here where I'm at in the good old United States. Ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. I have ten. I have ten. Thanks, everybody, for coming out on a weary day. Thanks for your support.